Well, let's find out what some of you are saying about this on social media. Nanama and Obin Pong is standing by uh, with the details. Nanama, good morning. Good morning, Lantam. So, who should be held accountable and what do you think should be done about the situation concerning the $2 million for the SkyTrain? Now, the first comment says, first things first, the ones on land aren't working, so why do we even have to go that far? How many of these first world countries even have SkyTrains operating? Then Charlene adds, the Minister for Transport and the Minister for Railways should both be brought to explain how we've gotten to this stage, followed by they being sacked because do their own fathers have two million dollars to be spent and unaccounted for then we have ni who adds politicians don't go to jail in ghana this one too will slide like the others no one will be held accountable then adding here people are suffering people are hungry some are borrowing and going for loans and all they can think of is skytrain do they use their minds then merlin um, uh, okay, the tree is a bit difficult for me there. Then Senator says, people must go to jail for this thievery. Our last comment here on Twitter, um, that's concerning. Those responsible for the SkyTrain project in Ghana should be held accountable for the missing $2 million. An investigation is needed to find out what happened. The authorities must take swift action to ensure transparency and proper use of funds. We move over to Facebook. Facebook, there were so many comments, over 200 comments. Then we have Jake, who says a change of government is the only option left for Ghanaians. Abdul adds, all those involved should be arresting. Causing financial loss to the state is a crime. And I don't understand the opposition. They are quiet on this issue. Samson also says, let's hold those who paid the money accountable um, and pay back the money with interest. Then we do proper planning. Emmanuel says, this is not a different thing for us in Ghana. We are used to it so far as Akufuado is president. Then here, who signed the documents for the project? Kwabena is asking. Trace that person and all those involved will be disclosed. And they are the ones who need to be held accountable. Then Christopher says, democracy in Africa is the problem indeed. Then Abubakar adds, after all this, same Ghanaians will still vote MPP. This country, Ankasa. Dear Jinya Mule. Then here, we have... As I said, plenty of things, but not everything, unfortunately, that we can read. Freddie also says, it's not every investment that must generate a fruitful return. Okay. Then Alfred asks, who made the announcement that by August 2020, Skytrains will be running in Ghana? Answer, Dr. Baumia. So go and find out from him. Then here, Joe Gatte, the president, and the entire railway ministry should be held responsible. Then Kennedy simply says, create loot and share. Then Latif says, I was against this SkyTrain from the beginning and asks, how can I buy my favorite plantain chips inside a SkyTrain from Circle to Accra? <laughs> then we have Charles who simply says, concert country. Then Albert says, heads must roll. Albert, which heads is what we were asking. Then Abdul Rashid says, it's sad. We move further on down. We have Prince who says, I think we should blame Putin for attacking Ukraine. Then um, Frank, all stakeholders must be dragged to the court and charged with financial loss to the state. Then Richard says, please, what sky train in Ghana? Please forget they have chopped the money. Then um, Austin says the whole country is a crime scene. Then we'll take our last two comments here on Facebook. Charles says, poor road network. You are talking of sky train. Hey. Then Ben says, we will one day wake up with the news that Ghana itself has been sold. It's just my prayer to find my way overseas and even acquire citizenship of any country I find myself in. How can I live in a country where the political class only prioritize amassing wealth and enriching themselves with the taxpayers' monies, leaving the suffering masses wallowing in abject poverty? Well, we have such countries such as South Africa, Singapore, Dubai and China that have invested into sky trains and it's working for them. But in Ghana, well, if the railway trains are not working on ground, how can we even look at the sky trains? We must fix that first before being so over ambitious. My name is Nanama Anna Benpong. Continue to send us your messages on Instagram, on Facebook and on Twitter. We want to hear more from you about these sky trains. Lantam? Back to you. Thank you very much. Nana Mano Bimpong there telling us what you've been saying on.